Absolutely straight on this. All right, I'm gonna flip it over, do the other side, and then I'm gonna match its thickness on this one. And this one, I don't believe has any warp to it. Well, even if it does, I'm gonna be thinning it out down to the thickness of that. So, uh, I'll run a pass on one side, flip it over, run a pass on the other. This one, I'm going to flip it over, run a pass on the other side. You can see the lighter area where it's actually taking meat off. Flip it over now, and uh, square off that side. Oh lordy, it's a uh, Sunday morning. I got out here about six thirty. I don't even know what time it is. Probably eight thirty or so. Eight little piggies, all in a row. Got them sanded up to one fifty. Don't you know? Already, so uh, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try to go from 150 to 220. Generally, it's not hard to go in increments of 100 from one grit to, to another. But the lower grits like this, 120, 150, 180, which is why they have lower grits are in so closer increments like 120, 150, 180, and then 180 to 220, and then 220 to 320. And then 320 to 400, 500, 600. The reason is the lower grits, it's really hard to take that big a jump to the next grit and overcome the scratches. But I'm going to try because uh, I'm way behind and in a bind. And uh, I'm going to stop and drink a cup of coffee because I deserve it. Oh, my. I have got seven sanded up to 320. I'm working on my last one up to 320, and then I'm on a heat treat. All of these, get them in the tempering oven. And then, uh, probably not tomorrow. I think we gotta go to town tomorrow. And uh, I, when I clean them up, I'll clean them up with 400. And then I will buff them up real nice. So I'll have a nice satin finish, but to have kind of a, a nice buffed satin finish, not a mirror finish. But anyway, I'm getting close to, um, uh, by the time I get them out of the tempering oven, I'm about halfway done with the knives. So, uh, two of them are spoken for, possibly a third. That's one of my thicker ones. So I will have uh, five for sale. And I got a whole bunch of nice, nice wood I'm going to use for these. Uh, two of them are going to have some leftover wood from a sharp finger uh it was one or two sharp fingers ago and i don't know the kind of wood it was but it was really it was kind of curly hell i'll show you the wood
That's it. And uh, I got Coca Bolo. I believe that's Coca Bolo. For one of them. Uh, Purple Heart. I had a whole bunch of. I guess I put it away because it was kind of in my way. Oh, yeah, there's my uh, pieces that I milled. They come out perfect. Perfect. So, uh, I don't have anything I'm going to put them on yet. And I don't want to use this for the neck knives because the neck knives, I don't get a lot of money for them. Uh, I get just enough to cover what I got into them and the steel and the sandpaper and, uh, and a Coke. So uh, I use what wood I have left over from previous knives. Unless you want to spend the money on, you know, your choice of wood, then that's a lot of money for a little tiny handle. Okay, so uh, I'm going to drink this Coke and sand that. And then get my forge cranked up, get the tempering oven warmed up. And, uh get them all heat treated.